Hi guys, welcome back. Terra Firmacraft Season 3 with me, Sid, and uh, you, you find me in the hut, waiting for daylight to arrive. Because um, today I am going to grab a bit of clay, and grab my pumpkins, grab all my bits and pieces from here, and we're going to move on to try and find a place to call home. Um, yep, that's the plan. So... We seem to be fairly safe around here. Let me grab my jack-o'-lanterns. And uh, I'm going to dig a little bit of clay to take with me as well. <laughs> Pick up as much as we can of the stuff we've, uh, we've got around here. And, um, and move on a little bit. So yeah, I am just going to kind of collect all my stuff together. Take down this hut, I think. Take that with me. And uh, I will be back. The moment uh, we're ready to move on, so I'll see you in a moment. Okay, um, I've got all the stuff, so we are heading round this way. I probably should do and just have a quick call over at this water. I'm not sure how long we're going to be before we see see any more. Hopefully, we won't bump into any skellies. Uh, well, handy. We'll have some peas. Because again, food is starting to get a little bit low, so um, yeah, we need to start thinking about the winter time. Uh, what are we at now anyway? We are in summer. We've got plenty of time. I'll leave those to ripen, but I know they're out here. So uh, now the plate was oh, full damn full horse. Um, the place I have kind of earmarked over this way. The initial thing I saw that I thought, oh, we could do that. Um, yeah, that ain't going to work because there's no fresh water. This is all seawater. Um, and there are means, I think you can put a barrel out and that will fill up with fresh water and stuff like that. But we need to be a little bit more selective. But there is a bay a bit further round, which is near some reasonable fresh water sites. I'm not sure whether you can uh, just want to let me just... Oh yes, you can eat seaweed. It's not particularly brilliant, but you can eat it. Um, yeah, and once we're there, the the object's going to be get a get a small a small hut built up. Oh, it up there. Let's have a. This is the nearest thing you'll ever see to a cliff in Minecraft, uh, I suppose. But yeah, there's some quite interesting. I mean, there's looks like there's some crops up there. There's Definitely some crops of some kind over here, and uh, but I want an area where we can build multiple small buildings. Oh, what's this? So, or obviously, it is rich bismuth. Oh, nice. Right, I can remember that. That it doesn't need way waypointing because I'm so. Uh, where I've got planned is just around here. I think, when I'm looking at the map, it looks like a reasonable place. The world seems very low, slow to load these low... Oh god, I better get myself hidden. There's something else there as well, so what we'll do is we'll just... We'll shack up... In fact, I think I will try tunnel in if I can into this cliff face temporarily. Some clay there, that's handy. And what I will try to do is just do uh, a quick hidey hole here. Now, as you know with Terra Firma Craft, it is we have got gravity, so so that can happen, which is not what you really wanted. But we need to get in somewhere sa safe and quick. So let me get a jack o' lantern, pop it there. Then you don't want to go in the air. Interesting. You don't want to wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. Um. Well, I've seen worse places to uh, spend out the night. So I'm not going to dig that. Actually, I am going to. 
leave it. We're, we're reasonably safe here. Well, unless something, unless a skeleton stands down the beach there and decides to shoot at me. Oh, sorry there, I'm catching my microphone with my mug. Um, so yeah, another night to wait out, and um, I will see you in the morning. Okay, it is another sunny. Oops, escape. Uh, it is another sunny day. We will come out of our little cave. I did finally take the plunge and come out and do that. So the place I actually want to build is up on the top here. Um, I also just want to go around this way and check on the availability of fresh water. There should be plenty. Well, there's some there straight off the bat, isn't there? Yeah, that's fine. So we're good for fresh water. We uh, we're good for wood. We got clay, and we got dirt. We've got pretty much everything we need. So let me. Uh, this, by the way, can be worn on the back somehow. I can't remember exactly how. Uh, slot. Oh, it goes into your quiver slot, doesn't it? But when you're carrying it laden, it does slow you down a little bit. So, um, yeah, I didn't actually, I just emptied it and carried it that way. What the hell am I doing now? So, the the area to build up there, let's go and have a quick peek around. But there is the actual building material I want to use for this is something added by the decorations mod. And this, this is quite a nice area. It's got you know, some flat areas. We can butt up to this hillside a little bit, I think. Uh, obviously got a nice mountain range in the background. And, yeah, so this is uh, things. So we are going to need wood. We are going to need lots and lots of straw. And we're going to need dirt. So let us decide where we're going to build our first hut and how big it's going to be. I think we probably want it looking out over this bay, to be honest, when we come out. So maybe maybe take you out, pine log. Uh, da, da. Okay, that's that. We are now officially in inventory overload stage, so let us just place some inventory items down out of the way. And because I'm not going to build it, I'm thinking I'm going to be building it. It's not going to be a huge hut at first because obviously it takes time. We haven't got built the chisel yet, which we will do. Um, what else do we need to get rid of? Those. Mm -mm. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I've got another da. And I'll keep hold of that. Some of that we can, we can just put down on hit on the ground for the time being. Oh, pardon me. And just generally get the inventory a little bit tidied up here. And finally stick those pine logs on there. Uh, so this is going to have to go. Now we're going to need dirt for this build for one simple reason. As I say, we're going to use a block from uh, from the decorations mod for it. I want to take you out. Um, and for that you need clay, dirt and straw. It's a real simple block to make. It's a nice addition to the, uh, I suppose, the primitive nature of the idea of this, of the early huts, the early builds. You know, if you remember the, your first time, you've, if you've ever played Terra Firmacraft, the first time you played Terra Firmacraft, your early build does tend to be pretty, let's, you know, um, dirt. Well, I suppose if we've been brutally honest, it's usually your typical terra firma craft equivalent of a dirt cube usually made out of wood or something because obviously gravity affects most of these blocks so let me grab some of this this dirt around here we're going to need a little bit more than this anyway but and we're going to be hiding in the cave quite 
frequently for the first um, few days and again trying to be sympathetic to the terrain this is uh, one of my one of my favorite building maxims if you like you know keep the uh, now what kind are you you are underside so you should actually be quite a nice looking block so let us just dig that out this will be I think big enough area and the first layer is well, certainly definitely the first layer of this is going to be one thing um, but I just need to clear this lot out of the way and we will be good now the roof we need to build a chisel to make so that's one thing we're going to have to oh what did we get there a topaz in pristine condition by the looks of it okay so take our underside dirt we well, first things we do we take some straw we take and we need a little bit more straw so let us fix that problem there we go that should give us uh, enough to start off with so dirt clay straw gives us andesite mud, mud bricks wet uh, I really and ideally need a couple more um, so where can we go and just steal those from let's have because these work in fours so um, you know you want four of each to make four <laughs> so 20 will make us 20 uh, brick blocks it's not enough by a long shot but it's enough for me to demonstrate the process let me just oops get the other knife and these take 20 in-game hours to dry so yeah we do need to you know you're going to be a couple of days probably making this lot up and then basically they have to have access to the sky and you pop them on the ground one two three four five one two three four five and in the world and let these dry so i need to make a whole bunt load, bunt load of those which i'm going to do i'm going to go and find an area that i can just clear some dirt from and uh, and i will be right back with you but probably going through the night now waiting for the um oops waiting for the bricks to dry so but we're going to need more than that anyway so i will get on with those while we're off camera so i'll see you in a little while another day another dollar and uh yeah so let us sprint out do my usual sprint out of the cave to uh check for any hostiles hovering around waiting to eat my face oh caught on the cup Mm, lovely, handy. Oh, I don't know whether you could hear that. My stomach just grumbled. Ah, uh, there's a zombie there. Right, so we are going to need to come in pretty, pretty hot. Get some water and come back out into the sunlight. Come on, Mr. Zombie. Oh, look at the mist. Early morning. The the effects in this are brilliant. Just Terra Firmacraft gets, gets more and more surprising every time we uh, you play it. Every build, every version. Now, apparently there is a slightly more up-to-date build than this, and I may try and upgrade to it, but uh, playing it cautiously, cautious at the moment. So how are you doing? You are dry. These are all dry. So I made another batch. So once you've got the dry bricks, you're going to want to pick them all up again. I don't know whether you can do it. Can you do it with? Yes, you can. Save your pro tip: save your tools. <laughs> so you pick up all your nice little brickies, <coughs> your mud bricks, and I mean this is really nice. This this should be in the main game, to be honest. These mud bricks, um, because it is actually quite realistic what would actually be even more realistic is if you were to put them in something like ingot casts and lay them out or wooden versions of ingot casts and uh, because I believe when you make wood bricks you tend to use a frame I'd, I'd have to like YouTube that just to double check it but once you got those bang 
bang 32 andesite mud bricks now the andesite ones are probably not that pretty but one two three four five six then what do we think three four five i think that's probably more than big enough what have i got here one two one two one two and then have we got enough to do a door frame i think we have so mud brick foundation we've got a few spares now the next thing we want is some timber let's uh, let's go with aspen actually i like aspen and we will saw up said aspen into logs now the first thing i want is a door and should I put a floor down first? I probably should. What shall we have the floor made out of? Well, we could go with andesite cobble. I could take that spur of rock down. That would be uh, one option. Let's have a look. Because it's, it's a, actually, you know, a bit of a our early shack. Yeah, why not? That does that works absolutely fine. And we, you know, it's a material that's native to the area because I always think when you're building things Minecraft the it tends to be a what's the word a habit for people to build out of the first thing or the things they like rather than I thought I heard something um, rather than the more realistic thing which would be you know if you're if you moved I mean, you're a settler in an area early doors you are going to be building out of the things you actually can get access to and <coughs> sorry pardon me there um a little frog in my throat so the local woods the local stones the local mud bricks all of that kind of stuff would be you know more realistic I suppose would be the phrase I know we're playing Minecraft and realistic is not necessarily always the thing you want I'll get these for more mud bricks for later and we'll take we'll take a chunk of this this pinnacle out I think so yeah we're gonna get some cobble floor We've got the mud brick, we're going to have the aspen door, and I think possibly a different wood. I'm not going to use willow though, because willow is green. <laughs> oh, hello, purple gem. What have we got this time? A flawed amethyst. Now, there may actually be a use for these in the decorations mod. I would have to double check. But if there are, I know it's added, um, added a use for gypsum, which is like outstanding, because one of the things that I hate with TFC is that there are some ores, gypsum, platinum, uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other ones off the top of my head. They're the main two culprits that I recall, um, which have no practical use whatsoever. You can't make anything with them. You can't build, I'm going to need more than this, aren't I? Um, so consequently, when you're using your prospectus pick, which we've yet to build, you will often get a reading for, say, gypsum. Now, that's fine. You know, you ignore it. But the problem is, if gypsum is the, the, the item that's in the area or the nearer of the two items, you will get your reading will be overridden by um, the gypsum. So if there were, say, you were looking for copper and there was copper in the area as well but you um oh damn it missed my uh move my, my missed my craft there um yeah if there was copper in the area and also gypsum and gypsum was the dominant or near of the two things then clearly you would not be able to find there we go a nice little a little door area in there that's going to have every zombie for miles around coming now what else have we got we've got pine your pine good well what we'll do for starters is we will make a ch 
chest off for. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Got got the stinks on. Uh, eat you. New addition there. You get the bo when you're uh, when you're hungry. So we'll just eat, eat, and eat until we are fat and full. And at least then we can come in here and we can place a chest there and a chest there. And we can start to offload a few of these items in now. I think what I am going to do for illumination in here, and I know it's not overly realistic, but at a later stage we'll be able to prettify this by sticking carpets down, is just stick the old uh, lantern down in there. And if you look, that should light up this area nicely. Um, right, you can go in there. You can, you can, you can, you can, you can. You can. Oh, you might actually go in a chest, I mean, I'll have to wait till I've got somewhere to place you then. Uh, we'll have rid of all of this stuff that we don't need about us. And that can go, we'll keep you because we'll want you for tools. Right, what have we got? Lots and lots of. What have I got there? Maple and more pine. Brilliant. I've got the pine coming out of the bazoo. So we'll cut up the pine logs and we will, we're going to need more pine I think, but we're going to have pine walls. And again we could chisel these later should we feel the need to be too, a bit fancy. I'm going to have a double window in that side, obviously no window in this side. Um, do I want a window there? Probably not. Eh, we might get away with it. Alright, and we'll have a three high. No, I'm going to need more. Definitely need more. Now at the moment, obviously, this still isn't... Well, I definitely need more. Fortunately, there's plenty in the area. I don't have to worry too much about saplings at the moment. Um, for one, they are a pain to get until I get a scythe. If I can grab a sapling I will do. But obviously these are all very high up. So I can't... Oh we got one. Brilliant. Preserve your um, environment. Plant what you chop down. <laughs> get you down and then we, the last thing we're going to need is a roof which we'll do in a different wood again. Uh, right, you need to be turned into those, and then you need to turn into those, and that's all good. The sun's going down again, which is a pain, um, because I am not ready. One, two, three. I'm going to need a bit more pine as well. All right, so another night comes on, and uh, we are here hiding back in our hole. So, uh, yeah, see you in the morning. <laughs> Just look at that wonderful mist in the morning. <laughs> I can't see Jack Diddley. Um, yeah, morning's come again. Let us uh, clear that and mad sprint out to the sea. <laughs> safest and quickest way to get out <laughs> just running to the sea at least that way if there is anything waiting above you when you're in this cave situation you can just vump straight out jobs are good right so we are okay we're not having our face eaten so let us top up our water and continue on the um on the build, I also want to get some copper smelting for a chisel, though. May that do that next time? Um, because for one thing, I need to make a chisel mould, which is uh, missing from my current repertoire of tools. Um, so for this episode, I think we are going to be stuck with... Well, for starters, I need a little more pine. 
we planted you. I think that's aspen, that one, isn't it? You're pine, aren't you? And you haven't really got much in the way of leaves on yet, so I can chop you down without worrying too much. <laughs> um, and eventually all this area is going to be cleared out anyway for my various little trade builds, yeah, which is, of course, my plan for things. So pine, lumber, funk, and a funk. We'll leave that as is for now, just to make sure we've got the requisite amount of logs. I don't. I'd rather keep them in plank form if I can. Thought I heard a skeleton then. Nope, we seem to be clear. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need two more. Two whole ones more, and we're good on the old pine. So yeah, nothing fancy about this build whatsoever, um, although we have got these mud bricks. One thing to bear in mind, these mud bricks can't be used for a fire pit, so if you're planning going, ooh, I can get my fire pit that way, sorry, you can't. So I think the roofs, the roof I am going to do in willow because I think it would be a nice contrast colour, quite quite a dark a dark colour and eventually we'll get those chiselled but for the time being we'll uh, we'll work on the non chiselled and then we can we can always make them fancy later but more important at this stage to get a roof on it I think. Um, this probably looks like some people's early first houses, you know, when you, before we, uh, back in the old, good old days of Alpha and stuff, before we, up, oh, I'm out of, out of Willow, you know, the old uh, block roof. Now, I'll probably do an overhang on that. The only drawback to an overhang is mobs can hide under it. So, yeah, it has, it has its kind of downsides as well. I'm probably going to want at least three of those. I'll keep the others in plank form just for the time being and uh, yeah that should give us um, a relatively safe haven. Now the other thing we need to do is do something with that window and we'll just make up a couple We'll make a uh, typical one block short. I'm actually going to need more if I want to do an overhang, but I'll do the overhang, as I say, later, because at the moment, mobs can hide in that under the overhang. So I'll bring these out all forward, one down the side, so it's level there and there, and, and make it look pretty later. But right now, what we need is some sand. And that will probably see us to the end of the episode, I think. One, two, three, what we got there? Four, five, six. That will be enough. Uh, I'm gonna need some logs. I'm gonna need some more sticks. And uh, I will, I need to get back up there, don't I? Uh, I definitely need to get a path, beach path going up as well. Uh, yeah, so we've got crops, but I don't know, they're not, I don't know whether come over this week on one of the ripening ones that you do now. I'm going to build this plenty far away from the uh, thing. Oh, I need some logs. Give me some more willow. There we go. Don't think I'll need a lot. So one, two, three, and you do the old. Oh bugger! Didn't quite get it that time. My fire starting skill obviously is not that good. Come on. Oh, Jesus. There we go. We're off. Okay, so stick some logs in. And stick a sand in. Now, as you know, the problem with the fire, this little cooking fire pit thing, is you can only actually do one item at a time. So we need to just cook that up, let it become glass. Um, I may need more logs, so we'll grab those, and as soon as that cooks, we'll have some glass. Now I could use solid 
blocks, but it would seem silly really. So we'll do this the um, one and then get the next one going. So I'm going to finish that off. Um, we'll be able to, instead of hiding in our cave tonight, we'll be able to hide in here, which will be nice. Um, we'll just get that, as I say, I'll get that done and I'll be back in a moment. Or, as is the case, we won't get it done because it's decided to rain. So, we are stuck with a gaping hole in our window now. There is, there are several options, if I can just find a few sticks. I'm trying to remember the whether the normal fence recipe works for this. And obviously taking my life in my hand here. To get the all-important and elusive sticks. What have we got? Five, six, right. If this doesn't work, then we have got some logs on us so we can do the uh, the stopgap window until the rain goes away. Yep, rain puts that fire out, who would have known? <laughs> Actually, I knew, but yeah, so we can just go with those and go bonk, bonk, and we've got a safe little haven. Um, we can, oh, you are filling up with fresh water. Okay, I didn't really want you to, but uh, okay, that's not a problem. Let me just pick these up and take all of these inside. And da. but yeah, we have um, a place to call home. It's not a very good place to call home, but it will do us for the uh, in the first instance, I'm sure. Bomb, stop picking them up straight away. If I can just right click, uh, right click them off. There we go. So yeah, that is uh, probably it for this episode. I think we've uh, we've got a place to live. Our food is not brilliant, but we're not in dire straits because there is quite a lot of food around the area. I think next episode I will make a chisel uh, and. What I may actually do now, it, no, is make a tool rack just to keep the stuff on it, like the saw, because we don't really want to be carrying the saw around with us. It's just another inventory item that we don't want, and, and the knife perhaps. Um, but yeah, uh, night is coming on again. Uh, we have got storage for th stuff and things now. Um, yeah, looking pretty good at the moment. So, uh, until next time guys, I think, oh, I need to put you somewhere. Let me just plop you on the, f the floor. Um, until next time guys, I think uh, we'll call that one an episode and I will see you soon. So, thank you very much for watching and bye for now.